Greetings and salutations, I am your humble Adobe instructor, AJ Wood, and you're watching episode number 52 of I Create Content. Hey everyone, appreciate you tuning in to today's show. If you caught our last episode, we were wrapping up search engine optimization of your images. I showed you how to find that IPTC data inside of Photoshop and Bridge. Have a quick update for you. Earlier this week, I posted an announcement about Keith Anderson and his plight with pancreatitis. I want to say thank you very much for the responses to that video. Many of you actually chipped in to help Keith's family with their medical costs and expenses. That's great. Thank you very much. I know that Julie and the rest of Keith's family truly appreciate your support. I know some of you even shared the video on Facebook and that's awesome. So thank you very much. Keep it coming. I know they really appreciate any and all support you can give them. Positive thoughts, prayers. They need it all. Thank you. Oh, so videos. That's right. Video today. Um, I get this question asked often, in fact, twice this week I got asked this question, and that question was, how do you do type on a path inside of Photoshop? <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a look. You can see on the screen in front of you, I've got a blank canvas, and what I'm going to do is grab the freeform pen tool, and I'm going to make sure that it's set to paths, not shape layers. Okay? So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to use paths. I'm just going to draw a wavy path here on the screen. And now I've got this wavy line and it is a path. I want you to see my background layer hasn't changed. And in the paths panel, we have a work path. So please understand that paths and layers are two separate things. They can be used together, but they are two different items. So I'll just go back and show you the layers panel. I'm going to grab the type tool my default color is black, and if I press and hold for just a second, I do want to point out this is why people get confused. If you're an Illustrator user, you're probably looking for a specific tool that says type on path. You don't need that in Photoshop. I'm just grabbing the regular horizontal type tool. So all I'll do is take this tool, put it over the path. Notice that the cursor changes as I hover over the path, and all I have to do is click once. There's my cursor on the screen. This is type on a path. Hooray. All right, so there's my type on a path. And if I want to move this type, I can grab the path selection tool. And I want you to see if I grab the path selection tool, all I need to do is click somewhere else on the line and the type will move. Now, if you're used to Illustrator, you can actually drag along the path and move the type that way. So I can actually drag along the path and move the type this way. There, that's actually working for me. <laughs> um, you can also flip the type. Notice if I put my cursor here, I can drag the type and if I pull underneath the line, the type will actually flip over. So now I can have the type flipped over going the other way. All I need to do to put it back is press and hold and once again flip the type up. And then here's something that you need to be aware of. If you look really close, there are two markers on that line. So there's a marker that indicates the beginning of the text and a marker that indicates the end of the text. It's on your screen with the black dot. So if I move the markers closer together, you can notice the text is getting cut off. So I can grab the end marker and pull this away. There's all your type. I can grab the beginning marker and move the type on the line. So this is how I do type on a path and move it. All right, quick edit. I was coughing off camera. Let's take a look at doing type on a circle. I'll go ahead and I'll delete this layer. And what I'm going to do is grab my ellipse tool and once again, instead of using a shape layer, I'll go ahead and just make a path. So now I'll just draw a circle on the screen. I'm holding the shift, shift key to make sure it's a perfect circle. Notice I'm still on the background layer, but the moment I grab the type tool, 
I can simply click on this circle and now I can type on the circle making a round path. If I want to move the type around the circle, once again I grab the path selection tool. I can move the type by clicking on it, moving it around the circle. I can drag it around the circle if I choose. Notice the marker moving. Remember that you have a beginning and an end marker, so you do need to move the end marker away to see all the type. And if I want, I can actually flip the type inside the circle by pulling my cursor towards the circle. And here would be the type inside the circle. I can move it around and make changes. So there you have it. That's type on a path in Photoshop. You can use that with regular paths or even shape layers. If this video helped you out, please give it a thumbs up. Remember, I answer the questions that you ask. Post these videos on, face, uh, on Facebook, on YouTube. You can find me on Facebook at ajwood.com Facebook. I'm on Google Plus at ajwood.com slash G Plus. And you can even see me on Twitter. So I'm here every week posting videos for you. You guys have an excellent afternoon and I'll see you next time.